Hello to all the students. Welcome to Global Online. Here we are back with our NTA UGC NET Paper 1 preparation for 2022 batch. As you all are aware that the, the schedule is out and your examinations are falling on a specific date, date. So we have decided to bring an entire revision series for paper one, which will be consisting of your MCQs, okay, quick revision like, which will help you to understand, get the variety of questions from different unit and at one go, which will help you to prepare yourself best for your upcoming examination. The only thing you have to do is you have to watch this entire video without fail, take a note of important points and keep yourself you know preparing for the examination so yes before we go ahead a quick understanding that what does global online has more to give you for uh, encouraging you to ensure that your preparation is doing well and it's going well so we have a quick revision pdf for paper one which consists of 2000 plus mcqs updated mcqs current affairs previous year question paper and most repeated questions which you can get at the given whatsapp number the fees is 599 for paper two also we have notes and mcqs available the list of paper two is available on the screen Though the fees is 1700 but right now 25% of discount is going on on this. And you can get this particular material and notes at a cost of 1275. So you can get in touch with us on the given WhatsApp number and ensure that you are preparing well with all the revisions for paper one as well as paper two. Writing is same as in. So we are talking about what? The, we are talking about thesis writing. So when we write a thesis, the format of thesis writing is compared to or is same as what? Whether it is same as the preparation of research paper or article, whether it is writing of seminar and presentation, whether it is a research dissertation, whether it is a presentation, presenting a workshop or a conference paper. Once again, I'll repeat when you're writing the format the format of thesis writing when you want to write a thesis or the format of thesis writing which is same as the given option so which where, where does this format of the thesis writing is compared to the given options whether it is a preparation whether it is a writing of seminar whether it is a research dissertation or whether it is presenting a workshop or seminar so the following from the following list the one which matches the format of thesis writing is called as the research dissertation because preparation of a research paper or an article has a specific format that depends upon which university wants you to pay present a research paper so they have their own format which keeps on changing presentation seminar is also uh, different which does not matches with thesis even the workshop is a complete or a conference is a different uh, way where there is no matching up so here basically it is what it is the uh, research dissertation okay. now question number two now question number two Okay, sorry, the sequence here is a bit different. But anyways, we just will focus on the questions. So the question number two talks about the series. Okay, now in such case, okay, how to solve this question? So first of all, it's very important that, you know, you write and take all the alphabets, you know, uh, togetherly. Instead of writing it, I have the alphabets, you know, just a second. I have the alphabets. I'll just take the alphabets over here. Uh, so it will be easier for us, you know, to. Just a second. Yeah, I mean to say students can solve the this question. Yeah. Fine. So this is the uh, you have this series. Now how to solve the series. Now see in such uh, type of questions. No, first of all, you have to ensure that, you know, whether the series is in hal. Uh, that is the horizontal way or whether it's the vertical way. Now, how to do that? Now, see, you have your series as A, B and then D. So, you have a gap of one. I'm just first going horizontal, okay? Then you have as D, K, uh, D, G, K. So, D, G, okay, and K. But if you see, again, there is a gap of two, there is a gap of three, there is a gap of one. Somewhat it is not matching. There is no consistency, but still we'll go for the next H, M, S. So, H, M, S. So, that is, you know, this is not matching. So, better, you know, what to do in such case? First, write A, B, D. Okay. It's important that you, this will definitely come out of practice only. D, G, K. Okay. Then next you have is H, M, S. Then next you have is M, T, B. 
Okay, so we have written it, but we saw that horizontally it is not matching. Okay, so let's now check vertically. So I'll just first clear this table, otherwise it will not be uh, easier for you to understand. So horizontally nothing is matching. Now we will check out vertically. Okay, this is how you need to be a little bit quicker when it comes to solving of the question. So now we have A, okay, after A, okay, we have D. So D, so there is a gap of 2. Okay, after D we have H. So H is here. So there is a gap of 3. Okay, now after H, so if it goes in sequence 2, 3, it should be 4. So let's see, after H it is M. So H, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is a gap of 4. So 2, 3, 4. So next alphabet should, should be with the gap of 5. So let us see, after M, what is 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So next comes is S. Okay, in our options, S is there. Okay, but we, we immediately can't conclude. We have to be with, careful. Now, first is what? First is B. Okay. So, after B, it's G. So, after B is G, no? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there is a gap of 4. Now, after G, it is M. So, after G, it is M. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there is a gap of 5. Now, it should be 6. So, let us see. M, no? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there is, there is nothing. T. So, now this is 6. So, next gap should be 7 after T. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, comes next alphabet is B. So, do we have B? Yes. So, obviously, our answer will be option number 2, but still we will match up quickly. So, D. After D, we have K. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there is a gap of 6. After K, we have S. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, there is a gap of 7. So, next gap should be 8. So, we will ourselves match it. So, after B, what is the gap of 8? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, next comes is K. So, after K, there should be a gap of 9. So, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, no. Sorry, sorry. Here, we have just missed one uh, sequence. So, after D, it is K. Correct? After K, it is S. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This S. Okay? Then, we have... Um, B, no? So, after S, B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, after B, it should be 9, a gap of 9. So, I just by mistakely took this. After B, it should be gap of 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, that comes as L. So, our answer is L. So, that is second now. That is option number B. So, let's see the option is right. Now, anyone who has not understood again, I'll just tell you. See, when you go, I'll just teach you how we did it. So, we have to see. We first match it horizontally. But horizontally, we did not get any consistency. Okay. So, we have to check vertically. So, vertically, when we started checking, we got two alphabets correct. S, B. So, obviously, the answer will be option number B. But you have to ensure that, you know, just to cross check and come to the right form, you have to go for the third also. Now, this uh, this particular options, you know, uh, this particular uh, questions require your, you know, practice. So, now when you are practicing, okay, daily practice this and if it's your alphabet should be ready. So, it becomes a little quicker. So, first you should see horizontally, vertically and then you should immediately go for that uh, answer. Okay. One more question I have taken that also I'll show you in the next uh, one more question today I have taken. Fine. Now, uh, yes. So, we have here little bit of sequence was wrong. Actually, it was question number two. So, by mistake, I have written it. Now, we have question number three. So, question number three is basically what, it, what is research design? So, research, research design is a way of conduction research that is not grounded in the theory. The choice between qualitative and quantitative methods, the style in which your present research findings, that is a graph, is indicated, a framework of collection and analysis of data at every stage. So, we are talking about what? We are talking about research design. What is research design? So, this, we have done this, but we have done this in a different, different way. The question is same. Even the options are given same. You should be able to match it up very well. So, research design is a way of conducting a research. The choice of qualitative and quantitative methods. The style in which you present your research findings or a framework for collection. So, basically, a research design, nothing but a framework of collection and analysis of data. So, collection of data and analysis of data, which is applicable at every stage of research. And that is called as what? It is called as research design.
Okay, now fourth question, ICT. In a computer, if eight bits are used to specify an address of a memory, the total number of addresses. So eight bits results into what? Is it 256? Is it eight? Or is it uh, 216? Or is it 512? So basically, eight bits used to specify the address in the memory will bring to total number as what? Will bring to total number as 256. So, 8 bits uh, in order to specify the address results into the memory of 256. Okay. Now, we have the next is series questions. Okay. That is 1, 6, 15, 28, 45. Now, to solve these questions also, you have to be a bit quick. Little bit of practice is re required and you are a quick calculation is required. Okay. Now, see. If you see how to go with this 6, you know. If you take the square also or a cube also, nothing is matching up. Such These questions are not matching it with square and cubes. So first you should give, that's the reason your cube roots and square roots should be a perfect. But it is not matching up with any cube, cube roots and square roots. So in that board mass rule, we should apply. So let's see. So 1 uh, will give you what? 1 plus 5 will give you 6. Okay. Again, if you add 6, okay, 6 plus what will give you 15? So, 6 plus 9 will give you 15. Okay, now 15 added to 28 will give you what? Will give you 15 added, uh, sorry, 13 added to 15 will give you 28. Okay, and what will give you 25? So, 28 plus uh, your next is 19. Yes, the... 15 plus what we can do is 15 plus uh, 28 plus what will give you uh, sorry 28 plus 21 sorry 28 plus 21 will give you what uh, will give you 45 so 15 uh, yes 20 just a minute okay 1 plus 5 6 plus 9 is 15 15 plus 13 will give you uh, 28 and 28 plus 17 sorry here I am just did a mistake. 28 plus 17 will give you 45. Okay. So if you want, I'll just clear this and make it proper. So I hope, see, we will see. But still there is nothing common. You will think what is common. I just kept an addition. Because square root and cube root is not coming. So it is better to go with board mass rule. So this is what you are coming. But then what is common is not going. Okay. So now we just see, let us see. 1 plus 5, okay? Now, like, for example, how much we have added is We have added um here. So, if we go with here, so from 5 to 9, okay? If what we ever add to 9 will give you, what will add it to 5 will give you 9, that is 4, okay? What will give you, if we add from 9 to 13, what will give you thir from 9 to 13? From 9 to 13, what is the number which needs to be added is again 4. So, 13 to 17, again to go to 17, it will give you 4. So, now let's see. 17, okay. If we add 17 plus 4. So, 17 plus 4 comes 21. So, 45 plus 21 gives you the number as 66. And that's what is the option. Any student who has not understood, I'll explain this entire concept again. See, we have the numbers as 1, 6, 15, okay. 28 and 45. Fine. Cube root and square root are not coming. If you see nothing is coming up at cube root and square root. So it's better to go with board mass rule. So what will add 1 if added 5 will add it to uh, 1 will give you 6. Same way if we add a 6 plus you know what to 15 to get 15 is 9. Same way, if we add 15 plus 13, will give you 28, okay? So, what should be? So, how you will understand? So, it's better minus, no? 15 minus 6, 28 minus uh, 15, 45 minus 28 gives you what? 45 minus 28 gives you 17. And when we add 40, 28 and 17 gives you 45. Now, next is what is a question mark? So, now it's better you minus it. So, 45, 45 minus 28 is 21. Okay, plus if you add 45 to it, so it will give you 66. Okay, but how? So if you see what is common is 9 and 5 common is 4. 9 and 13 common is 4. Again, 13 and 17 common is 4. 14 and 21 common is 4. So this is how it comes to the number as 66. Okay, I hope it's very clear with everyone. And even still twice I have explained. So let us check the answer also. See, the right answer is 66. 
I hope this is very clear with everyone. So ensure that you know your practice see this such, such type of sums only requires alphabet and the such type of sums you know coding you have to be very very clear with your uh, your speed then only it will be you know better okay the next one is uh, the wordings that is choose the alternative cup cup is to coffee such same as bowl is to what is it uh, sorry the cup is to coffee same as bowl is to what bowl is to dish bowl is to soup or bowl is to spoon or bowl is to food. So what it indicates. So what is the so just the way the cup cup is to coffee? How how is a bowl uh, related to? So whether it is dish, whether it is soup, whether it is spoon or food. So obviously what is served in bowl is nothing but it is called a, that is the soup. So the right answer will be option number two that is soup. Okay. Now, next one, we have a question on research ethics. So, this ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for what? So, when we talk about ethics in research, we have studied research ethics or ethics in research. So, what is ethics in research is nothing but the code that is do's and don'ts of, you know, uh, research. So, in, in order to understand the ethical norms, what uh, the guidelines is not involved for what? Thesis format or copyright or patent, uh, patent policies or data sharing policies. So, when we talk about research ethics, the guideline is not involved for something that is called as what? Risk that is thesis format. So, we do not uh, have, we do have guidelines for copyright. We do have guidelines for patent policy. We do have guidelines for data sharing policy. Something which is not a part of research ethics is that thesis format. Now, why? Because, you know, depending upon the deemed university or a private university or a state or a central university, every university has, you know, a different uh, format. So, the formats are, you know, fle flexible, which is not a part of research ethics. Okay. Now, yes. So, now again, we have the next term is your uh, letter series. Okay. So, again, in this, so first thing, you have to, as I said, no, this that's the reason I have told you that it's better you have your alphabets ready. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, okay, K, L, M, N, O, then we have P, Q, R, S, T, then we have U, V, sorry, U, it is U, V, W, X, Y, Z okay so if you remember I have told you first check you horizontally and then vertically okay so if you see uh, the word is M E so we have M okay and we have backwards E okay so let's write and keep M E but there is no correlation but still K H so we have again K and we have H so if you can see it is going backward okay but still how we will see I K so it is I and then it's coming for frontwards, IK. Okay. Then we have next is GN. So we will just write over here. We have GN. So again, it is backward, frontward. So horizontally, again, it is not matching. So let's see uh, uh, vertically. So when we have vertically, when we talk about vertically, so in vertically, let's understand that, you know, it is having K. Okay. Uh, sorry, M. After M, we have K. So, gap is it's uh, after M, one backward is K. So, I, so again, one backward I. G, one backward G. So, there is a gap of one, one, one. So, after G, if you see, it will be E. Okay, do we have E in the option? Yes, we have E in the option. Then next is, uh, we have E. Okay, after E, then we have a gap of 2 H. K, a gap of 2 K. Then we have a gap of two. Uh, Two again M, so if if it is a kept a gap of two, so it will be Q. So we have Q. Okay, I hope it is very clear with everyone. So see when you are not able to match it horizontally, it's better to go what? It is better to go it vertically. First you have to check horizontally. It's not every time it is vertical. Sometimes it may horizontally come up also. Okay, now so the right answer is EQ. I have told you how to find that. Okay. Now, question number 10, a researcher is interested in studying the prospects of a particular political party in the urban area. So, which, so you, when you want to study about a political party in the urban area, which uh, method 
you will be preferring that is a tool whether you will be preferring a rating scale or an interview or a questionnaire or a schedule so which method will be preferring so method will be preferring that is called as what so in order to understand the political party in a particular area so the method will be a questionnaire okay so yes i have just taken 10 questions as in practice today i'll be taking a uh, Evening also, I'll be taking more questions with uh, the series, with the coding. So just to give you and make you ensure that, you know, you are, these questions are also in place. So what you need to do is that for the lecture, you need to sit with your, uh, I mean to say detail, uh, the notepad and the pen. So it will give you a good amount of practice with the rest of the units also. So just put question number one says that arrange the list in the correct order as per the usage in the article writing so you have one topic that is article writing in your research aptitude unit the question is based on that particular topic you have to arrange in the correct order the given list as per the use in article writing so the options are abstract topic discussion method bibliography topic discussion method abstract bibliography topic abstract method discussion bibliography topic abstract discussion method and bibliography so if you can see in all the options bibliography starts at then has uh, ends so i mean to say every option you have to check clearly now bibliography and references we know it comes at the end but here in all the options bibliography is given at the end so you can't you know you have to refer to each option very clearly so now you have like for example you have the the components such as topic discussion method and abstract so among which of them should be in the sequence or should be in the order of as per the use in the article writing so how are they uh, listed in the article writing and you have to give the correct sequence and that's what the question is talking about Okay, so let's see how many of you are able to come up with the right answer. The right answer is option number C. So now what we do is that in order to write an article, we, we first shortlist the topic. Once the topic is shortlisted, we create an abstract of it. Now, what is an abstract? An abstract is summary. So the entire article uh, can be understood with the help of article. So article gives you the entire picture of your, uh, of your entire, uh, you know, topic. So abstract is nothing but a summary which consists of, you know, the introduction which consists of your roadmap and your keywords. After that, you talk about the method. After that, you talk, you come into uh, the next part is the discussion on this and then you come with bibliography. So what is bibliography? Bibliography is nothing but whatever amount of references, websites or other journals and articles which you have uh, listed i mean which you have referred in order to write your article that all ref that all comes under the heading of what in the heading of bibliography so it gives an idea to the readers that okay for in order to go through this the the researcher or the person has you know taken the references of so many uh, options okay now this is what the first question is and the first question we have saw we have finalized the answer with the help of what whether it is the sequence of article writing which starts with topic which starts with abstract abstract is also known as summary method discussion and bibliography okay now let's go to question number two a very 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 simple question n number of times we have done this question what does the word acronym move stands for whether it is media online open course whether it is matrix open online course whether it is massive open online course or whether it is myron open online course so what we have started this under teaching aptitude an initiative under teaching aptitude or you can also call it as a topic that is called uh, taking care of you know online methods so under which we have studied moves so it stands for massive on open online course so the right answer for question number two from the given option is option number c that is nothing but massive open online course then we have the third question that is from the topic ICT that is information and communication technology which says that which of the following domains is used for profit business. So here also we have seen question comes as an educational non-profit business. Okay. Uh, so here they're talking about which of the profit domain. So they have given the domains that org.net.edu.com. So which of them will you consider in, in order to come up with what the profits uh, is, which is used in the profit business? So which of them talks about profit? 
or profit organization which of them discusses about profit organization the one which discusses about profit organization is nothing but dot com okay organization is normal organization uh, when we have a uh, edu that is basically for what fair base edu is basically standard for educational institutions so anything you know which comes for uh, profit organization it is nothing but it is called as that is uh, dot com okay now we have uh, next is in case if you want to yes uh, dot dot com which is nothing but you know the uh, you can say it is the variety of applications so net is nothing but it is used for the applications okay now let us go for the next question the next question is on teaching aptitude uh, but it is related to what it is related to uh, some uh, teaching aptitude well merged up with the research question so jean piaget piaget so we have studied piaget's theory the piaget's theory of cognitive development the theory given by piaget for cognitive development of humans is based on what so fundamental research applied research action research and evaluation research so if you remember we have done piaget's theory which is a part of your teaching aptitude so they are saying that piaget theory of cognitive development now what is cognitive development cognitive development is nothing but your development of your uh, mental ability you can say or capability of your mind or brain so in that what is the basis which has been used by you now on the basis of what is the theory bought by piaget so whether it is a fun fundamental research that is basic research because these are all the types of research applied research which is applicable action research which is about immediate uh, solution and evaluation research where you evaluate so piaget's theory of cognitive development or uh, on the basis of give list given below so it is basis of what it is basis of fundamental that is basic research through which the theory is been built up okay now we we have the next question the question is warrior is related to sword so when we so this is you know terms so you have to come up with the right term so let us first see what are the terms they have listed so they have said is warrior is something which is related to sword carpenter is something related to saw okay that is a tool farmer is something is related to plow that is plowing process same way author is related to what so how will you relate author will you relate author to book will you relate author to fame or will you relate author to reader or will you relate author to pen before i give you an hint and you know uh, help you out but ensure i want you to try it on your own first and then i'll come to the right answer now i'll read up the terms the terms are related to two terms which are related to the uh, you can say the profession or uh, you know related terms are given and then they have given another term which you have to relate with the given option so what they are saying is that warrior is related to sword carpenter is related to uh, sorry warrior is related to sword carpenter is related to saw farmer is related to plow same way author is related to what so you there is something common in the given options so that is given terms so you need to come up with the term which talks about what which talks about the uh, matching things so let's see uh, what exactly you know we have the detail about so when you uh, relate it the answer will be author is related to pen now why pen why not book why not fame why not reader so if you saw warrior they said sword carpenter they say so, they said so so farmer they said plow okay but now if you see in all the terms okay the tools have been given so for warrior the tool is sword for carpenter the instrument is saw for farmer it is plowing and the same way for author the tool will be what in order to come up with a book the author requires what it's pen so the related term will be pen okay now we have series question so series question i have taught you i said as if in such questions your uh, a to z should be ready the alphabet sequencing and i told you you need to go horizontal and vertical okay so let's first actually the system to write this is you know you just quickly need to write all the terms a y z sorry a y uh, d then we have b v f okay then we have d r h okay and then we have g m j so if you see a b d g there is a correlation so vertically only it is matching so after a is b 
but there is a gap then d and if the gap if you see it is one and after d there is g so the gap is two so obviously after g the gap will be three so h i j so the option will be k over here okay now k do we have with k yes we have k but we can't immediately you know uh end up with this option we'll at least need to try another one so y after y we have v so it is coming backwards so one two two backwards v then r one two three three backward is r Q P O M. Okay, that is four. Then let's see the five fifth term after M. One, two, three, four, five. So that is G. So we do we have we G? Yes, we have G. But still on the safer side, we, this is the right option. But still we will just finish off the last one and see. D we have F. So D a gap of one F. Then after F it is H. So again a gap of one. After H it is J. Again a gap of one. So after J it will be L because K is the gap. So K G L. So if you see K G L, yes the right answer is K G L. Okay. So what I told vertically, always you should write the terms and then match it vertically or horizontally. Immediately you again I said this question requires some amount of practice. But if you do practice, you can immediately come to those uh, questions. Okay. Then next is question number seven. It's on research. A researcher intends to explore the effect of possible factors for an organization uh, with respect to what? With respect to midday meal interventions. What research method is most appropriate for the study? I'll, I'll, I'll read again the question out. A researcher needs to explore the factors effective for midday meal intervention. So which among the appropriate method will be applicable, whether it is historical method, whether it is descriptive method, whether it is experimental method or whether it is ex post facto method. I'll repeat again, whether it is historical whether it is descriptive, whether it is experimental or whether it is ex post facto method. So which of them will help the research to come up with an appropriate study? So in see a midday meal. So obviously intervention, it means it is already happening. You just have to intervene. So in that something which has already happened, past things. So it is nothing but it will be just a second. So the right answer will be your ex post facto method because the day meal is happening. You just have to come up with what? You just have to come up with the uh, intervention in that. So the intervention is in the form of what? The past that is ex post facto method. Okay. Now, CSS. Now there is an acronym. Okay. I Instead of I telling you the acronym, you can just put a little bit of... Uh, stress on your mind and come up with the right answer this is you must have seen in one of the previous year question also so the css stands for what cascading style sheets whether it is collecting uh, collecting tie style sheets whether it is comparative style sheets or whether it is comprehensive style sheets so it is called as what the the full form of the acronym and what does it terms is so css Okay, CSS stands for what? CSS stands for cascading style sheets. So it is nothing but, you know, language is used to describe the presentation uh, of a document written. Okay, uh, as well as, you know, uh, the markup language, like for example, HTML or XML. So like for in case by mistake, you know, when you're working on your PCs or when you're working on your laptops, a, a sheet gets opened where you see certain codings. So those sheets are nothing but they are called as what? They are called as cascading sheets. Okay, the, these are the sheets which are basically describing the presentation or the language for a written document in the markup language that is HTML or XML. Okay, now we have next question is uh p and q okay now this is a question on relations okay so now such questions how to solve so we will read the question and it will be will you know do such questions some some I, you may be definitely having your own tricks also but let us see now see p and q what are they saying p and q it's immediately you know when you read it you know you start marking it p and q are what P and Q are about, uh, P and Q are brothers. So now I'm making a square sign. I'll tell you that R and S are sisters. R and S are sisters. So what, see, this is my method. You can use any, any symbols to understand. So what for the square stands for? The square stands for male, that is brother, and circle stands for females, okay? 
so now pq i'll understand they are brothers and r and s are sisters okay the son of p so son of p so p has a son son no so again square that is male okay uh the son of p is the brother of s so brother of s so if you want like that so brother that is you can write a short form or it, it indicates brother fine how is q and r related so i hope till here it is very clear i'll now this is what we have done this is a diagrammatic presentation now we need to correlate so p and q are brothers that i understood with the help of what i understood with the square r and s are related as what sisters so that is circle now the son of p so p son so i have drawn your p son is the brother of s okay so r and s are already sisters so they have one brother okay so we indicate that uh, he p is the son okay p, that is the sons uh, this is the square now they have not indicated anything so this is a question mark so there is no naming for this particular person but we know that he is a boy he is a male okay so now he is a brother and these both are the sisters so definitely son and here also it is sister so they all are what the uh, sib uh, siblings and they are the kids of p okay now they are saying that q is related to r so you need to tell the relation between q and r so obviously they are all siblings and this is the brother to p so it becomes what the relationship will come as uncle so that is the p uh, sorry q is related to r that is in the form of what q is the uh, you can say the nephew or uh, sorry r is the niece of q so q is nothing but uncle i hope it is very clear so this type of questions you need to solve you know in step by step you can't keep on reading the whole question coming back to the question which will result into the wastage of time you should ensure that when you are solving the questions you are immediately doing going for a diagrammatic presentation i'm Im immediately mapping it out okay now we next question we have is sampling cases okay so sampling cases uh, is basically what sampling cases is something means what so they are giving you know they are giving sampling cases so sampling cases is uh, use sample using a sampling frame okay whether it is identifying people who are suitable for research or literally the researchers briefcase or sampling of people newspaper television and program so they are saying that see they have just confused you with the words okay sampling cases they could have easily said what are samples and you should identify but they have confused you it's okay you can you know you that is that is a speciality of ugc net that is what they are you know Uh, meant for okay so you so that you know you just confuse and divert your mind to come up with the wrong answers so just read simply as sampling cases or sample it's one and the same so it is using a sample frame identifying people who are suitable for research literal literally the brief brief case of researcher or sampling of people newspapers television and programs so see that's very simple identify people who are suitable for research is not is not ethics of research researchers briefcase is not a term which is you know uh, very frequently related to um, research sampling using a sampling frame we have not studied so some like, exactly sampling cases is nothing but samples sampling of people or you know uh, you can say sampling of newspapers televisions uh, programs etc so this is what sampling talks about okay now the next we have is that is uh, option number d sampling of people newspaper television and programs okay now question number 11 of which of the following is not a search engine so you have to uh, from the given list now this is also one of the university question google chrome or yahoo or bing which is not a search engine so you have to identify which is not called as what which is not called as a search engine that is nothing that is google whether it is google whether it is you know uh, chrome or whether it is yahoo or whether it is bing so one which is odd man out so the one which is maybe many of you will come to the right answer so one which is odd man out is chrome because it is a browser and not the search engine okay search engine is a software whereas google yahoo and bing are a part of it but not chrome because chrome is a browser okay now 
Question number 12. Which of the following term is related to objectivity in research? So they are talking about what objectivity. So basically objectivity is one of the characteristics of research. Okay. So what does that characteristics define or tells? So being accountable to the public, sharing honest reports, respecting others intellectual property or using confirm, confirmed and true facts. So we, if you remember, no, we have studied in one of the uh, theory classes, uh, reliability, validity, objectivity, systematic, logic, all these are what? All these are the characteristics of research. So in that, objectivity means what? They're asking you specifically what is objectivity? Is it being accountable to the public? Is it sharing honest report? Is it respecting the intellectual property right? Or is it is confirming, uh, sorry, using confirmed and true facts? So it is related to what? It is, yes, it is related to using confirm and true facts. That is the objective of research. That whenever you use anything, you can, you know, you should know that it is something which is very factual and confirmed. Okay. Now, question number 13. Now, see, just now we were talking about characteristics and question number 13 itself, we got the same question. They are saying that following are the characteristics which is not true about research. So, it is basically which is odd man out. They have given us the list of the characteristics and they are saying that this one is not the characteristics of research. So, what is that? Systematic, controlled, scientific and casual. Which among them is not the... Uh, characteristics of research i'll read again is it systematic is it controlled is it scientific or is it casual so one which is not a characteristic of a research is that is casual research okay because scientific we know controlled we know systematic we know something which is casual will not cannot be a characteristics at all okay then next we have is 14th now the question number 14 in computer terminology so they are asking about what? They are asking about computer terminology. In that, they are asking about what is NIC stands for? I'll repeat in again. What does NIC? Now see, NIC, they are saying in what? They are saying for what? They are saying basically uh, the computer abbreviation. So what does NIC means? Okay, in computer, uh, you can say, in computer terminology or in computer abbreviation. So the options are network integrated card, navigation interface card, network interface card or national integrated chip. So what does NIC in computer stands for? Okay, let us see how many of you are able to answer it correctly. I'll repeat the options one again. What does NIC in computer terminology stands for? whether it is network integrated card, whether it is navigation interface card, whether it is network interface card or whether it is national integrated chip. So it stands for what? So basically the right answer for this is network interface card. Now what is this? It is nothing but a hardware component which is typically a circuit board you can say or chip which is installed on a computer so that it can connect to a network. So basically connecting a a system to a network we use network interface card i'll repeat this once again that network interface card is nothing but connecting a system to the uh you can say network and for that we use a uh, use a circuit or a chip that is called as network interface card fine then we have case studies now what are case studies so for research we use these questions case studies are studies conducted in the area of genetics and microbiology in-depth examination of a subject and its related condition, a report on existing socio-political condition, special, specialized research in the area of uh, health and sanitation. So what is called as case studies? Now see, if you see all the options, now here this question is very easy, but you should be very clear. So what they are saying, studies conducted in area of genetics and microbiology. So if we choose that option, it says that case studies are only for that. No, it is not only related to genetics and microbiology. In-depth examination of a subject and related condition. Yes, this can be one of the option, but we have two still options left. To Let us see a report. So case study is not a report. So that can is eliminated. Specialized research in the areas of health and sanitation. This can be, but then say they are saying only in the areas of health and sanitation. What about others? So no. 
So option number D, option number C and option number A will be also out. Why? Because they are just specifically, uh, they're talking about something but very specific. In fact, case study can be related to any subject or any condition. So the right answer will be option number two, that is in-depth examination of a subject and its related conditions. Okay. Now, uh, we have next question. Now, next question is a code question. Now, how to solve this questions also. Okay. So now it is very important to know some tricks, you know, to go, go for this question also. So let us see. Now, see, I've, I've purposely written, you know, the alphabets over here. It will become easier. So it is a board. Okay. You just have to first write and take down. Then you have a board is A, D, R, H, J. Okay. So if you see, at least now you have to come up with a code for what? Agro. Okay, so agro. So A stands for A. So A may stand for A. So now B is D. So option there is one middle uh, means when there is a one gap. So after B it will be D. So G no. So if we leave a gap it comes I A I. So do we have A I as an option? Yes, we have two options. So we need to go for next also. O R. So O there is a gap of two. O R. So here R no. If we leave a gap of two it comes A I U. Do we have yes? E, J. So, if we leave J, so there is a gap of 4. So, the next alphabet is O. If we leave a gap of 4, we get is uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay. 4. Wait, let us see. E, no. E, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if you leave a gap of, we have next is agro, no. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it should be A-I-U-T, but there is no T given over here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, something, just a minute. Something is wrong, I guess. E and J. So, E and J, how many gap are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth alphabet. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Why we are not getting the option okay we will solve again just a minute okay so we will just check again something is going wrong let us see okay so we have a g r o okay so a is a so b is d no so after g it will be uh, i okay after o it is r so, 2, a gap of 2. So, after R, the gap of 2 is U. Okay. Now, O. So, the fourth alphabet is, yeah, D. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry. So, D is H, no? So, D is H. So, 3, a gap of 3. So, after O, a gap of 3 and we get S. Okay. Sorry. We were looking after that. So, A, I, U, S. So, the right option will be A, I, U, S. So, let's see option. Yes. A, I, U, S is the right option. So, you, I hope you got it. How you need to relate with the coding also. Okay. Now, let's come to question number 17. When planning uh, to do a social research, it is better to approach the topic with an open mind, do a pilot study, be familiar with the literature or forget about theory because this is very practical. So, in case if you are doing any social research, any if you come across any social research, what it is better? A topic with open mind, a pilot study, familiar, familiarity with the literature or the forget the theory. So, when you do a research, a social research, you should be familiar with the literature on the topic because, you know, it's not about, you need to know or you need to have the understanding about the topic. Hence, it is very important to have a familiarity with the literature of the topic. That is one of the important precondition. Okay. Now, question number 18. Now, see, this is again a coding question. So, now coding question. So, we have covalent. Okay. So, we will just write it because a little bit, you know, you should be very clear. You should not waste time in this. That is very important. Is B, W, P, D. Okay. U. Okay. Then we have O, then we have F, and then we have M. Okay. So now C. Uh, C and B. So C and B it is coming opposite O and W. O and W. That's very, you know, um, O and W. 
so now this is not working out so if you see t uh, this is o so you need to see from all the angles after t we have s and u so now where s and u is given okay so what you know many times no divide the alphabet if the alphabet see over here eight alphabets are divide them into the column of four or two just sometimes two also will come four so let's see first four so a is there a b okay c d so it is like cross connection c a b c d so o for o it is you know p okay and v w again same l m t u okay e f n o so like that it is coming so now let's see i have it el elephant so we will rub this here itself we will do so it will save our you know uh okay elephant e f so here it is f okay then we have p so p is what p is o so we will have sorry p is q so q over here okay then we have l so l is m okay and again e is f so it is coming as q f m f q f m f so we got this but still we need to check okay here also we have still you need to check so h h is what h is um, i okay then we have t over here that is u okay a will be b okay and n will be n will be o so it will be o u o b i u o b i so our next so i hope you so sometimes you know this this words no either you can divide into two or either it will divide into four this but this is applicable only when it is the equal so f f i means words are most probably equal okay so yes the right answer is option number c that is Q F M F U O B I. I hope it is very clearly understood. Step by step, I have you know explained you how to go for it. Okay. Uh, then we have um, next is the output quality of a printer. So for a printer, okay, to understand the printer's output quality, what is you know uh, what is digit whether it is measured by digits per minute dots per mm dots per inch dots per cm so it is mentioned with what okay for the output quality that is dot digits per minute dots per mm dots per inch dots per cm i have just given this in one of the uh, mcq class also so quality of a printer is always with what dots per inch it is it is stated with what it is stated with dot per inch okay and then we have the last question when Academicians are called to deliver lecture or presentation to an audience on certain topics or a set of uh, topics of educational in nature. So when then academicians are called to deliver a lecture or, you know, they are called to uh, give a presentation or, or certain topics. So it will be called as what a program, a seminar, a workshop or a symposium. Okay, so the right answer. See, this is a little bit confusing. You may you may come up you, here. You may some make any mistake. So let's um, understand it what very well. Academicians here to deliver a lecture, okay, presentation or topic. So it will be called as what? It will be called as a seminar. Now see, training program, there is no hands-on experience for this. So workshop and training programs get cancelled. But they are saying that they come to deliver the lecture. That is not a big audience. Otherwise, it will be symposium. symposium. But basically, they are here to do presentation or give a certain information of a topic. It will be called as what? It will be called as a seminar. Okay, so this is what we have done. Now I want everyone to list me your uh, score in the comment box and tell me what is your score so that from tomorrow onwards, the amount of, you know, uh, level can increase. So this coming 10 days can help you to practice well. So that's all for the day. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to put your scores in the comment box. Thank you.